Hello! In this video we will see together uh, how to create a page in SharePoint Online. To create a page you first need a site, so within the home page area of SharePoint Online you can choose to create your site by deciding whether to create a team site or a communication site. Once you have created your site you will be the owner of this site and thus have the ability to create a new page using the new button located at the top left of the command bar. The new button car, allows you to directly create a page by selecting the page a template. Wait a moment. I'll steal 10 seconds to introduce myself. I am one of the Microsoft most valuable professionals and on this channel you will find tons of technical videos to keep you updated on all Microsoft 365 technologies from SharePoint to Teams to Microsoft 365 Copilot. Subscribe then to see the new updates. Once inside the page creation interface, you can choose to create a page from scratch using the blank template or by using one of the other templates that Microsoft provides us within SharePoint Online. There is a template for creating a training page, a template for sending a summary perhaps of a project or an initiative, a template for sending a message to colleagues, thus a communication, a mm, slightly more advanced template from a visual standpoint, and a template with mostly text text divided into multiple columns. Know that if you create templates within your site you will also have the possibility to reuse them when creating a page. Now I don't have any but by clicking on a on the save yeah bar tab in this site you have the opportunity to see the pages you have configured as template. This feature is very useful. Once I choose the template and I decide to start with the blank one I have the option to click the create page button here at the bottom right to actually create my page within SharePoint online. A very useful feature is the ability to create the page as a private draft. Yes, because within a SharePoint site you should know that multiple people can access it with the same rights and perhaps multiple people can view or even modify your page when it is in a draft state. If you want to prevent a colleague from seeing and modifying a your communication, your page before you publish it, then you need to click on this button to uh, create a private draft. In this case, it doesn't concern me because I have just created the site and therefore I am the only owner capable of creating new pages. Once the page is created, the system takes me to the page editing area and the first thing I recommend is to specify the title of the page. Why is it important? Because the title in, of your page then gives the name to the address of the page itself. So once you decide to save the page, you see that the title of the page up here at the top is used for the address of the page itself. This is very, very important. You see that all the spaces have been replaced uh, with uh, dashes. This is to ensure that the page is more easily shareable with colleagues. Having clicked save, I have saved my page in draft status and I can always continue to to modify it by taking advantage of all the features that SharePoint Online offers me to insert content into the page through new sections that can be of various types with various column modes and so on. And to get to know the uh, CMS content management system features of SharePoint Online, well, I recommend my specific video or I can add components within the page. These gray ones are all SharePoint components. Then you have the possibility of having custom components which you can recognize because they have different icon. So those who can create a page are all the people who have full control use or um, site editing permissions. Once I have completed creating my page, I have the option to make it available to all my colleagues by clicking the publish button. Great! In this video we quickly saw how to create a page in SharePoint Online. See you next time!